Hi, my name is Nakia Dillard. I'm 22 years old and I've lived in West Oakland all of my life. And right now I'm currently finishing up my last semester at Laney in Merritt College and I will be transferring to San Francisco State in fall of this year to study health education. I want to become an expert in public health education because I feel like there's a lot of issues going on in my community and in a lot of different in a lot of other communities as well, like food justice issues, social justice issues, uh, nutrition issues, and I want to make West Oakland a better community because West Oakland is a community that's lacking so many resources and it's at a disadvantage. And um, I want to make West Oakland a better community. Well, I've always worked and went to school at the same time. <laughs> um, I've worked for several different nonprofit organizations and um, I've been in school since 2006 with the Peralta Colleges and um, I love school. If I didn't have financial aid, my life would be devastating. I mean, I'd be forced to drop out of school because I can't afford to pay for my tuition. And um, I feel like life wouldn't be worth living if I can't further my education and reach my goals. and do what I've been destined to do, so my life would be very different. You know, it's going to be really, really hard for our youth to have hope if the, the governor is, you know, uh, do, putting these budget cuts on education and making it harder for youth to get into college. It, you know, it's, it's really sad. I mean, it would be really difficult for them to further their goals. Well, you know, for those who are fortunate to get jobs, you know, they probably would stick with the, with working. But for those are, that it's really hard for them to get jobs, it's sad to say they might turn to, you know, the streets and, and you know, other negative ways to make money because, you know, some people, they, they have to make a living somehow. There's like selling drugs, there's prostitution, uh, there's robberies, you know, there's a lot of negative ways to make money that you might turn to because there's no hope for them to attend college. Well, I'd ask him a series of questions first and one question would be, well, why are you taking money from the disadvantaged and the poor neighborhoods that are, lack, that are already lacking equality and resources? Then I ask, why are you stripping our youth of their opportunities in higher education and stripping them of their goals and dreams? Then I'd ask, well, why do you insist on making cuts to education and Medicare over cuts to your own administration? or to the people that can afford to, to take pay cuts. And then I'd say to the governor that you can never really know what great of an impact these budget cuts are making on our communities or what's best for our communities until you actually sit down and meet with the community members and take in serious consideration of what our recommendations are and what we believe is best for us.